I recently purchased this four-stroke engine off eBay. It's an SC52. Um, it was described as in good working order, but as soon as I got it um, through the post, I realised there was a major issue in the fact that um, there was no compression whatsoever. Um, there was compression um, on the lower half of the cylinder because you could feel it building up if you block the breather uh, nipple at the back. Um, so it was a pretty good chance it wasn't the piston rings or a worn bore, um, which uh, kind of meant it probably was top end. So on inspection, I discovered a couple of issues. The first was that the um, the uh, inlet valve was stuck fully open. A bit of um, uh, light uh, tapping was able to unseize that. However, a more major issue was the fact that the um, adjuster on the um, rocker arms for the valve clearances uh, had broken, or at least the nut had snapped off, or been snapped off by a previous owner. I actually found the nut inside the um, rocker um, housing here. Each rocker should have um, the adjuster screw and then a lock nut on it and this one the lock nut had sheared off the screw on the top um, now the problem with these uh, SC engines is they're no longer made and I'm assuming this is a common fault because you cannot find these adjusters for love nor money um, anywhere on the planet at the moment um, so I had an idea that because these are, are basically clones of an OS engine um, I phoned Just Engines and asked if the OS um, uh, replacement part would be compatible and they confirmed that it would be. So um, the OS part um, is effectively uh, almost exactly the same. The only difference is rather than having a flathead um, screwdriver slot at the top it's got an Allen key adjuster but I'm told by Just Engines that this will fit. Uh, this particular part was about £4.50 or so, plus a couple of quid postage and packaging. So about £7 something for, for a tiny screw, but if it gets the engine working, then that's brilliant. I'm hoping that this will just unscrew from below. Um, oh yeah, it's nice and loose. I think what's happened is the previous owner has, has talked it up, or tried to talk up the nut too tightly, and it's just sheared off the, off the screw. Now this particular part is for the FS70S, 91S, 120S. Um, apparently there are two sizes and Just Engines recommended this one. Okay, there's a tiny Allen key um, hole at the top. Okay, that's good. The thread's compatible. I suppose with these being clones, they just literally copied them part for part. The cups look ever so slightly different, but as long as they fit the uh, push rods, that shouldn't be an issue. Put the lock nut on the top before we forget or lose it. Okay, to make sure that the push rods engage with the cups on the adjusters, otherwise we'll be in for a heap of trouble. So I've not adjusted the um, valve clearances yet, there's plenty of movement in them. I just want to run it through. I've got it at top dead centre at the moment, so that should be the neutral point of where there's no pressure on the uh, push rods. I'm just going to turn it through its cycle to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. And it seems to be doing that okay. Push rods are engaged. Yes, but I have just noticed that there is a lock washer floating around in there. That could have been nasty if it had been left in there. It was hiding in the dark recesses. Both valve clearances are set to uh, one tenth of a millimetre. 0.1 of a millimetre. The inlet is ever so slightly more draggy than the exhaust, but we can live with that. The exhaust valve will get hotter than the uh, inlet valve, so it'll probably expand a smidge more. Okay, I'm going to prime it with the starter. I'm 
starting to feel wet. Partial throttle. 